We arrived in Funchal, Madeira's capital, on Monday the 20th of April 2015 during the annual Flower Festival. Unfortunately, we missed the main parade which had taken place over the previous weekend, but Fun Charles Main Street, Avenue Ariaga, was still beautifully decorated. In particular, the carpets of flowers and foliage that are an integral part of the festival were still full of colour. Each carpet, perhaps the equivalent of Derbyshire's well dressings, is intricately designed and clearly takes many hours to construct. The floral decorations take many forms, all of which provide ideal subjects for a little photography. The local traders obviously hope to take advantage of the inspiration engendered and the range of exotic flowers on sale is amazing. The floral marquee was well worth a visit and the display is very impressive. Time for some more photography. Back outside and in the bright sunshine, the colours are even more vibrant. with more displays and carpets along the street, all the way to the Roman Catholic Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption. From here, looking back, the colour of the jacaranda trees in full bloom is very striking, as it is in the side streets leading down to Funchal's Port and Marina. Time for a rest and a drink. 
on the newly rebuilt promenade following the devastating floods of February 2010. I'm sure we've seen these same Peruvian pipe players on a number of our overseas holidays. Not exactly a traditional Peruvian folk tune, but the break gives us a chance to take in the views and do a little people watching. Back to our hotel took us along the promenade beside the dock where the ocean-going cruise ships come and go on a daily basis and from there through Jardin Municipal Park where lizards seem to outnumber humans and exotic trees including the Kapok were in full bloom and seed. and formal flower beds provided yet more colour. The following day we took a coach tour which included a stop at one of Madeira's best known tourist attractions, the world's second highest coastal cliff at Cabo Girao. Now where have I heard that tune before? The attraction was given a boost in 2012 when amongst other improvements a glass skywalk extending beyond the cliff face was installed. Shame that whilst we were there condensation on the lower surface spoiled the intended spectacle. The terrace fields that can be seen at the foot of the cliff used to be only accessible by boat but in 2003 a cable car was installed allowing farmers easier access. Although the record claim is disputed, the cliff is 1,870 feet high and provides some incredible views. Who's that blocking the view? Back in Funchal, we decided to revisit two of our favourite attractions from a previous visit, the Botanical Gardens and the Tropical Garden, both accessible via the same cable car. In the bright sunshine, the views back over Funchal to the port and sea beyond were very special as we floated over the rooftops below. Once at the top, it's a short walk to the next cable car to take us the rest of the way to the Botanical Gardens. Yeah. 
Whilst the views weren't quite as extensive from this second cable car ride, it served to demonstrate just how remote the botanical gardens actually are. From within the gardens themselves, the views back down over Funchal are amazing. And if you look very carefully, the first cable car ride can be seen. These patchwork beds are one of Madeira's iconic views, but there's plenty more to see. And the vibrant colours just keep coming. Having taken our fill, it was time to retrace our steps to the Monte Palace Tropical Garden. This garden was put together by Jose Barrado and has been open to the public since 1991. <laughs> Not him again. Let's move on. I swear he's following me. Now here's something quite novel. 
just over the wall of the garden, is one of the quicker ways to return to the city, Funchal's famous toboggan run. Some people just have to show off, don't they? You wouldn't get me doing that. Well, not more than once anyway. Time to return to our hotel and reflect on another great day and ultimately another very enjoyable and relaxing week in colourful Madeira. Let's go.